devil! What are you doing here? Nothing. I was just taking a shortcut home. Who are you? Good morning, young lady. <laughs> Bill Smith, at your service. Excuse my friend. Startled us. You startled me. Our apologies. Could you help? We're treacle merchants just passing through. We've been having a bit of an argument, which you can put an end to. I can. What's the next town, young lady? We've lost our bearings. Oh. Oh, the next town you touch downstream will be Windale. It's just a little settlement. Windale. Jones, you owe me a bob. Most obliged, young lady. Jones and Smith. Treacle merchants. Yeah, if you'd given her a wave and a smile, she'd never have noticed us. But you have to go scaring the daylights out of her so she will remember us. <laughs> Sergeant Martin, is this is a price. It's supposed to be. Snap inspection. Oh? I think you'll find everything's in order. Mm -hmm. Oh! 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 So, uh, <clears throat> how's your arrest rate, Carmody? Uh, this is a quiet settlement, Sergeant. There's not many villains around here. No. And from what we hear, you're as likely to give them a kick in the pants and send them back to their wives as you are to pass them on to us. Jail my man. Punish the family. If it's just a petty matter, I don't... It's still against the law. Well, thank you to spare me your uh, philosophy. We had more than enough of that when you were on the city force. for business. What will the customers think? Forget about the customers. He needs help. We'll put him in the spare room. Grandpa! Grandpa! Well, what is it, Vicky? You're needed at the store right away. It's Mr Coates. He's unconscious. Well, how is he, Doctor? He's not going to die on us, is he? I doubt him. He's certainly pretty poorly. Well, it's not hygienic having a sick man so close to the store. It'd be imprudent to move him at the moment. Well, suppose it's infectious. Never you mind, Samuel. Doctor, Frank Coates can stay here as long as he has to. And you better go and see to his horse. If he's got a disease. Samuel. Oh, all right, all right. I'll look after his horse if you like. I'll tether it round the back. I suppose I'd better clean up the mess he's made. Beauty? What's the matter?
you see my finger? You know who I am? Oh. Is that where it hurts? Hmm? Grandpa, I found this in Mr. Coates' saddlebag. What is it? Gin, I think. Gin? Have uh, you taken care of the horse, Vicky? Oh, then get on with it. Now, is this what you were drinking? Did you make it yourself? I bought it. Well, you'd better tell me where you got it. If it's poisoned you, it will probably have poisoned others. You're on your last chance, Carmody. There's no room for soft-headed philosophizing in the police. I don't think it's soft-headed to give an offender a second chance. And if he offends again, hey? Well, then I come down on him like a ton of bricks. <laughs> so you say. The thought back in the city is that you're just sitting here on your uniform behind doing nothing. It's not true, Sergeant. Catch me a villain and I might think about believing you. It's a quiet community. Although there is a rumor of an illegal still I'm looking into. Here? No, in a nearby settlement. The liquor's rough and it's made quite a few people sick. Bit of a long shot if you ask me. We have to help Constable Carmody, Beauty. He's going to lose his job. Mr. Burton. Oh, oh, I have a word. Oh, it's you, Constable. Can't you go and catch some criminals instead of scaring me to death? This is Sergeant Morton from the city. How do you do, Sergeant? Down here on an important case, I suppose. No, just a routine visit. Just helping the constable out for a day or two. Have any strangers come through recently buying supplies? Uh, not that I can recall. Uh, what sort of supplies? Provisions. More sugar than you'd expect. Perhaps malt. Mm, come to think of it, uh, no, that was just the one time, nearly a month ago. Well, tell me all the same. Well, he bought some malt, but then he was going up to the gum diggings. Do you remember what he looked like? Yes, like most gum diggers, dirty. Dark hair, not very big. Scar in his cheek and surly. But then uh, most of the gum diggers are, aren't they? No name? No. Well, let me know if you see him again, or if anyone offers you illegal booze. I'm a temperate man, Constable. But others aren't. You might be interested in this, Constable. Hilda, hmm? do you use treacle to make gin? Treacle? <laughs> well, I'm no expert, not making a lot of gin myself, but treacle. Juniper berries, I think. So now it's turned up here as well. Did Coates tell you where he got it? I couldn't get much sense out of him, but apparently not around here. Told you you're wasting your time. They're too cunning to sell the stuff near the still. Could be in the district. Well, wherever it is, people are being poisoned. So, um, if there's the faintest chance, Constable, I should tell you that lives are at stake. What can we do to help Constable Carmody, Beauty? they're supposed to be. All right, then, I guess it's worth a look. Come on.
this a beauty? Give it away, Carmody. Find me a nice chicken thief. I've been needing plenty of fresh water to run the still. I'd bet a month's pay they're using the river for transport. I wouldn't chance their luck on the roads. Morning, sir. Morning. Would you be here on business, Mr... Uh... Uh, uh, Connell. I'm in after horses. Ah. You'd be wanting to see Frank Coates, then? I'll buy from anyone who'll sell. We're looking for a chap. Medium height, dark haired, rough looking. Scar in his cheek. Have you seen anything of him on your travels? No. What's he done? Just like to talk to him, that's all. I'll certainly keep my eye out. That's all, gentlemen. I'll bid you good day. Thank you for your time, Mr. O'Connell. What'd you make of him? Should have known that Coates is the only man to sell horses around here.
Cosmo Carmody, it's Vicky. What's happened to her? I don't know. Where is she? I don't know. Do you know anything, son? Beauty. Beauty came into the farm alone. He tell us to follow. He went towards the river. Beauty? Vicky's horse. Look, Sergeant, she's in trouble. I'll have to go find her. Hmm. More chance than finding the still. Now I'll head back to the station, rest my weary bones. Jenny? What are you going to do, Jenny? Hide the boat? No, much better than that. Jenny, hurry! They're coming back! It isn't that easy. Downstream, tell Captain Henny I'll be there tomorrow night. I'll deliver these. on your horse, sir. I think you should stay there, 
until the constable arrives. Beauty's enjoying this game. <sighs> Sir, as though you're taking a bit too much water with your chin. <laughs> Morning, gentlemen. Morning, Mrs. Denning. Sergeant Morton here just wishes to thank you both for your help in catching those criminals. It was a fine, brave effort. You must have realized you were taking a bit of a risk. Just wanted to help Constable Carmody. You're not going to send him away, are you? Of course not. Carmody has my full support. Always has had. Even his philosophy, Sergeant. <laughs> well, it's the practical side of things that counts. And how's Mr. Coates? A sad, a bit wiser man. Well, thank you all again. I'll bid you good day. You took a big risk to me, Mrs. Denning. Vicky. Uh, he's a smart horse, all right. Oh, he certainly is.